you are a New Yorker. The day you learn to notice sparkle of sullen silences, snapping the darkness of damp burrows, or stop taking notes of wild blizzards racing along the signature shore, you are a New Yorker. The day you start hearing gaga songs in the screeching subway cars and stop saying, I don't know no Spanish to Latino visitors seeking directions, you are a New Yorker. The day you start understanding the thick jumble of subway announcements or roadside pronouncements, you don't have to be a Rockefeller to be a generous guy. You are a New Yorker. The day you stop taking free state Nile and ferry to click a perfect shot of Statue of Liberty, or stop visiting Times Square at night and forget to find a way out of his labyrinth, or learn to walk the Brooklyn Bridge without a secret desire to dangle a padlock on one of its rafters, or stop seeing Walt Whitman sitting atop his edge, looking for his beautiful boys and vagabond fairies entering the sheltered bay, you are a New Yorker. That you stop fearing spy dogs at Grand Central, recognize the homeless that hang out at Port Authority or Jackson Heights, that you pass through the shrunken midnight of Sutton Boulevard or Jamaica subway station without holding your breath in terror, you are a New Yorker. That you start loving Starbucks coffee wafting along the white glassy Manhattan malls, or learn to chew the Brooklyn bagel, or lap up the steaming loneliness of chatty dog walkers around Central Park, or learn to make love and forget the face of your partner, you are a New Yorker. That you stop guessing origin of blonde teenager, reading the current issue of The New Yorker, stop looking at the bare shoulders of the Vietnamese girl sitting on the free Wi-Fi table near entrance of So Nice Village Cafe, opening and closing like a red lips on the first day of winter snow. The day you pass by Magnolia Bakery, loaded from famed cupcakes and moon-sized cookies. The day you stop visiting Whitehorse Tavern to pose against Dylan Thomas's drunken portrait. I stop hearing John Lennon's voice, climbing the far escape ladders of Hotel Chelsea. I stop looking for the room, wishy gill eleven Leonard Cohen a blowjob. You are a New Yorker. The day you stop gawking at gay couples on L train, romancing like Bollywood couples, or fervently discussing pussy power animal rights, or the ailing pets or parents, that you stop staring at the historic Jews of Williamsburg, the curls dangling out of their black velvet caps, luck loud Shiva's sacred serpents, you are a New Yorker. <clears throat> the day you learn to laugh like a Latino bartender, or smile like a Filipino waitress standing beside a stuffed rose pig like a queen, or stop looking at the cleavage of nudist poet at Central Park, or learn to check your seat in the subway for a stain of shit a homeless might have left for you, you are a New Yorker. And finally, the day the girl from Cleveland, Ohio, behind the counter of Greenwich Cafe, gives you her email or offers a free top up on your coffee or lets you take her out, you are a New Yorker. Thank you.